do you want your FPS to be exactly like the ones you're seeing right here? Why is CSGO on 118 FPS? And why is Gang Beasts on 100? What? Well, stick around because I'm going to be telling you how to optimize any of your AMD graphics cards right now. So let's get straight into it. So you're going to be brought to the little menu here. And I should probably tell you how to open this up. So you want to right click on your home page and you want to open up AMD Radeon software, right? And you're going to be brought to the home page where you're going to have your drivers and software. That's the first thing you're going to want to look at, right? You want to make sure this is up to date because this is just going to fix any problems that you may be having and also improve FPS. So make sure that's always up to date. This is the latest version right here. Um, that's pretty much it on this page. You know, there's some other things. Your upgrade advisors just trying to get you to spend money. You know, <laughs> you know how it is. But anyway, that's not what we're looking at today. We're going to go into the gaming section. Then we're going to go down to global graphics, right? So, so this is got some of your preset modes here. I've currently got mine on custom. So, what these modes are: gaming. This is just going to set it round to playing your game on a nice sort of. Going to focus more on the visuals, as you can see. Uh, it tells you what they do here. Esports, well, that's just going to try to get your the best uh, input uh, lag and the best FPS. Power saving mode, going to try to save your power. And then standards, it's literally just a standard configuration that you get. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on Esports 1, and we're going to just heavily config this. So starting off with anti-lag, you're going to want this on. This is basically going to get you the best input uh, times that you want. Um, and it's recommended that you put this on if you can have it on. Uh, Radeon Chill limits FPS. Why would you want it on? Again, it saves power. You don't need it on. Now, Radeon Boost. You can try and fiddle around with this and see if it works out for you. But currently, not many games support this. So I'm going to recommend that you keep this disabled for now. But however, you can see if this does boost it for some games. But I'm going to recommend you keep it disabled. Image sharpening. Right. Image sharpening. For me, I like to have it on because it just gets that nice little crisp on your screen and it and it has quite a small impact on your overall FPS. Very, very small. I'd recommend turning it on. Now, you may find that 10% or 100% or 50%, shit, 50% will be better for you. You just have to fiddle around with that. However, I recommend if you've got, excuse me, jeez, what the Radeon Enhanced Sync. This is basically on a turn to V-Sync, so straight away, no, you don't want it on. Have that disabled, you don't want it on. And as well as here, the vertical refresh as well, more V-Sync, you don't want it off. Always off. Make sure you've set that to always off, because that's... <laughs> right, now you want to go down to the little advanced tab here. And as you can see, here is all the juicy stuff right now. So, what you want to do is you're going to want to copy all of the settings that I'm going to show right now. And one thing that you want to do here is reset your shader cache. Now, this is something that you probably want to do because this basically stores uh, in your GPU, it stores shaders from games that you often play and can boost the shading loading performance. However, games that you don't play, you may want to just reset this so that it has less stuff going on and will increase the performance. Uh, so I recommend doing this maybe like once a month or something like that because you probably, I mean, me, I go through games like once every week and then I'm done with them and then I'll play them again and then I'm... Let's not get into that. Now, you want to go over to the display tab. And right, one thing that I always do is make sure you look at your displays. If you have more than one monitor, obviously, if you don't have more than one monitor, then it doesn't apply to you. But basically, for me, the one that I'm looking at here is my main one, which is display 2. So make sure you have the right display detected, otherwise it's going to mess it up. So make sure you've got the right display. Right, let's get into the display options right here. Now, AMD FreeSync. You want this off. Again, if you play a lot of esports titles and you like to play competitive, off. However, if you're more a chilled out gamer and you don't want to get the stutters and the screen tears, then turn free sync on by all means. But for me, and for most of you watching this, you're going to want to keep that off. Same with virtual super resolution. This is just going to give you a FPS boost if you keep this off. Um, GPU scanning, you're going to want to keep that disabled. However, if you do have stretch reses, or this is going to be required for most stretch resolutions, again with scaling mode, you want this to be on full panel, and this doesn't really apply to you unless you have a stretch resolution. But keep these how they are on the default. And the rest of these sayings here, they're not really important, so just keep them exactly how they are, as you see here. Again here, uh, custom color. I mean, if you want to mess around with it, you can, but me personally, you know, you just keep how you one that this is all personal preference shenanigans right here that's not really important so for me i just keep it disabled 
Right, for the video on, basically just keep this on default. I mean, again, this is all personal preference of how you want to view these things, but it doesn't really matter for me. Default is fine for me. But you may find that you want to be a big boy and turn up to Enhanced, or, you know, you want to chill at your home theatre, or you want to go to the cinema classic experience. But for me personally, I'm a nice defaulty boy. Uh, you've got your hotkeys here. Um, again, personal preference stuff right here. And the last section here is going to be general. This is basically, again, a lot of personal preference stuff, stuff that's not going to enhance your FPS and boost your gaming experience in any way. The only thing here that you're going to be interested in is maybe if you want to have your overlay for your settings, you know, it'll show you the temperature of your GPU, the, the how much it's using, and all the stuff like that. Me, me personally, I don't like to have, I want to have minimal stuff on my screen as possible. But you may find that this is stuff that you're into and you want to have that on. But personally, I keep it off. You know, if you want to get into it, get into it and just fuck up your PC completely. Right, and that's basically it. Your AMD settings right here are optimized. Let's just close these bad boys. But, 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 but that is not it. There are some things that you can do to optimize your Windows to get a far more better gaming experience. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to go into game... What? The devil did I just... You want to go into your game mode settings right here. Open that bad boy up. And what you're going to see here is game mode on. You're going to switch that off. And basically, this is going to cause a lot of stuff like crashes, stutters, and performance issues. So you want to turn this on for all uh, Radeon GPUs. However, if you're NVIDIA... Well, I don't even know why you're here if you've got an NVIDIA graphics card. Another thing you want to do is you want to go straight over to your settings. And you want to go over to system. And another thing that can occur sometimes is that your FPS of your monitor may actually be taken down by doing the settings. So you want to go into advanced settings, go into the display adapter, and you want to go down to monitor and just check that it's on the max hertz that it can be. Apply that, OK, and you can close it down. Right, one other thing that you want to do is sometimes something called ultra low power state, which is called ULSPS. I think I just completely butchered that. But the point is, you want to go into your registry editor, uh, click that enable and what you want to do this all looks very confusing i know but what you want to do is you want to go to edit bind and then type in l no u l p s i'm gonna do find now depending on your system this may take longer than others but you know it should be pretty quickly like what you want to do is you want to modify this and make sure that the value is set to zero like so you want to press ok and then you want to exit out of that uh, basically, what this does is it can throttle your FPS and cause major stuttering, stuff that you do not want when you are gaming. So you make sure you have that turned off. However, some GPUs may not have that setting there, and that basically means that it just doesn't support it, so you're fine anyway. And the last thing you want to do is you want to go straight over here, and you want to do restart your system, just to make sure everything is fully updated, everything is fully switched over, and there are no bugs or any shenanigans like that. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and use supporter credit code wise in the Fortnite Minecraft Dungeons item shop today. And I'll be seeing you in the next video when I have a million subscribers.